Hi, I'm Heidi Copeland, a family and consumer sciences extension agent with the University of Florida, IFAS Extension. Oftentimes around the holidays, extension agents get questions from clients about baking. Makes me want to ponder, is baking an art or is baking a science? Um, I can without a doubt say it's a little bit of both. Once you get the science down, then you can let your art shine. And what may you ask is science. Science is in the measuring of ingredients and in the combination of ingredients. I'm gonna start with a very fundamental measuring technique and that is dry measuring. And ingredients that we measure dry are all kinds of spices, all kinds of things that are dry like flours and nuts and sugars. Um, but there is a, a special way to measure and there is an important element to a dry measuring cup. We have the quarter cup, we have the third of a cup, we have a half a cup, a three quarter cup, a one cup, and a one and a half cup measure. They even make a two cup measuring cup now that's pretty convenient. I'm going to measure um, using a half a cup just for an illustration of why it's so important to measure accurately, especially in baking. When you're measuring um, flour, one of the methods to measure is called the dip and scoop. You dip your cup in, you scoop it up. And then you level it off with the back of a straight edge. I'm using an offset spatula and you just run it across the top. I'm now going to measure it on my scale which is obviously the most accurate because you can get this down to um, even a fraction of a gram. One half of a cup of flour done the dip and scoop method weighed 72 grams. If I turn around and pack it in trying to get as much as I possibly can in this cup, it will weigh more than 72 grams. And so although it might not seem like a lot when we're baking, that little bit can influence whether a product turns out perfect or not so perfect. So just pressing it in a little bit made it weigh 86 grams. That's very true also with the smaller measuring that we do. Um, there's a set of spoons, they're called measuring spoons. This particular set comes in a one tablespoon. It comes in a teaspoon and a half, which is a half a tablespoon. It comes in a one teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon, and an eighth of a teaspoon. Sometimes we have a little bit less than an eighth of a teaspoon. It's a pinch and it's just a little bit like that. But I know on the market right now, there are a lot of different kinds of salt. Most baking calls for plain old table salt. And plain old table salt, you measure the same way you measure flour, you pour it into, into a spoon, and you level it off with the back of your, um, your knife. One tablespoon of plain salt weighs 22 grams. If I start to use some of the specialty salts out there, like um, the kosher salt, which is a much larger crystal than just plain old table salt, my one tablespoon now is down to 12 grams. And there is, um, some people don't believe the amount of salt that's used in baking, but there, the salt in baking influences not only the taste, but the texture of baked goods. I also have another kind of salt here that's pretty common on the shelf right now, and that's uh, sea salt. And the sea salt weighs a little bit more than the kosher salt at 20 grams per tablespoon. So again, we have to be kind of cognizant and know that um, even something as um, simple as a teaspoon of salt can make a difference if it's not measured correctly. So in going over our measuring techniques, we have a dry cup, we have a wet cup, we have small ones like teaspoons, and we have um, the scale, which is, very, is pretty much the most accurate. And I would 
personally stick with basic things because we can start finding fun novelty measuring um, tools out there. And again, it makes it very difficult sometimes to do what um, we just said to do is do that dip and scoop because the ears are in the way here. So using my novelty measuring scoop, one half a cup weighed 81 milligrams. And so again, I got a little more flour in there than I did using just the standard cup. I have another one here. This is a measuring cup. I don't even know how to hold it because there's no way I can hold it. I have to hold it almost in the palm of my hand to get, um, get this scooped, leveled off. So the, the novelty ones, although they're cute, they're not accurate. They're not as accurate. And just a standard cup is all you need for baking. Um, thank you for listening.